Did you know that 80% of chronic diseases are actually preventable just by living a stronger, happier, and healthy lifestyle? One thing I hear a lot from a lot of people is that eating healthy is difficult and they have no idea where to start. The thing is, one of the first things that I googled when I came to Australia was how to make a salad because I had no idea how to eat healthy and where to start. And I really wish I was given the formula that I'm going to give you guys today because what I found was all these recipes packed full of ingredients that were overcomplicated, extremely expensive, and did not make it easy for me to eat healthy on a day to day basis. So let's get started. So right here is my awesome basic formula that I use whenever I eat pretty much anything, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Even my snacks, I try and follow this formula because then I know I'm getting mo pretty much everything my body needs in my diet. Step one, I like to choose my protein. Now with your protein, depending on, you know, if you're a little fatigued, you might want to go something a little bit higher in iron, you might want to go for beef, a steak. Um, you might want to, my favorite is venison and kangaroo. No, everyone's favorite. Um, you might want like a little bit thinner, like some chicken, some turkey. Um, it might be a celebration. You might want some ham, or it could be an awesome weekend, and you want some bacon. So choose your protein first. After that, you're gonna choose your carbohydrate. Carbohydrate. You might have an idea of what you're gonna eat just based off that. So if you chose, let's say, mince for dinner, and you want to make spaghetti bolognese, you're gonna choose some wholemeal pasta. If you're making a stir fry, you might go for rice. If you're making bacon and eggs, you might want some toast, some rye bread. My favorite is sweet potato. One, because it's great for your bones, and two, because it's great for your vision. So I like to eat things um, and think about other things that are gonna benefit for my body as opposed to just the carbohydrate. Think about the micronutrients as well. Once I've got my protein and my carb, I then go into my fats. So as you know, that fats are really essential for our diet. So if you're having, let's say, the bacon and the eggs and the bread, you might want to have some avocado for breakfast. If you're having a stir fry, you might want to throw in some nuts or some sort of oils. Or you can have your eggs. Eggs are also high in fats. So once you've chosen your fats, we then finish off with our greens. So it could be your stir fry or your veggies. It could be your salad. Um, for me, my favorite is spinach. I love the taste of spinach. I used to not like the taste of spinach, um, but now I absolutely love it. So even if I'm having this dish, so bacon, eggs, bread, I will put a handful of spinach leaves because it's high in vitamin K, and vitamin K is what thins out your blood. So you want your leafy greens, and that's gonna stop those blood clots. So one of the main causes of death is blood clots, and that leads to strokes and heart attacks. So um, making sure you're really high in all your leafy greens and your broccoli and all your dark veggies as well. So that's pretty much really quickly the template that I that I use whenever I eat anything healthy. I was gonna make this video a hell lot longer, but I thought let's just do the basic template just so you get an idea and then I might expand on this in the future coming videos. So step one, start with your protein, choose your meats if you're vegetarian, go for your tofu or your beans. Step two, grab a carbohydrate. Make sure it's high in fiber, fairly healthy. Um, step three, go for your healthy fats. Healthy fats. And step four, don't forget to add in your greens. So when I eat healthy, my rule is that if I can't look at a plate and I don't know what 90% of everything that's on that plate is, then it's not healthy. So a good idea is if I look at a lasagna, I have no idea what's going on there. There's sauces, there's layers, there's foods. I don't know what they've added. I don't know what's in there. But when I look at one of my dishes that look like this, I can see exactly what is on my plate. I know there's bacon. I know how much butter is there. I know there's a handful of greens. I know there's two eggs. I believe that if you can see every single ingredient on your plate, it's more than likely a healthier meal than when you have got hidden ingredients inside your dishes. Thank you so much for checking out issue number 29 of the Strong Happy Healthy magazine. I really hope this helps you out. So it's really basic. Get your protein, your carbohydrate, your healthy fats, and your greens so you get all those micronutrients onto your plate. I'm gonna start creating a few more videos to kind of go more into detail of these micronutrients and why your body needs them. Um, and in the meantime, if you like this video, please make sure you like, follow, and subscribe to all my social channels. And there's some cool videos coming up, so stay tuned.